Brothers. Born to live, live to ride. Ride to live, I was born to ride. American will we forever unite. Hey, that's the deal, I was born to ride. Now I'm down to Miami, Daytona, Tallahassee. Ride is brought to you in part by 866 Law Friend. Ride safe, ride smart. Offices in Palm Harbor. When do you crave refreshing iced tea? Twisted Tea wants to know. The next time you want that same satisfying refreshment, but with a kick, grab a Twisted Tea. Twisted Tea, the refreshing hard iced tea that tastes like real iced tea with a kick. Thanks for tuning in to Born to Ride TV. This week we look back, showing support to two Tampa police officers killed in the line of duty, Officer David Curtis and Jeffrey Kokab. Llama, the Latin American Motorcycle Association of Tampa, and Born to Ride put together Because We Care Ride to support the families of these fallen officers. Over 1,000 motorcycles showed up to support Tampa's finest and to say, we care. All this and more here on Born to Ride. Hey, this is The Undertaker and you're watching Born to Ride. Hey, we're here with the General and Johnny. We're at uh, the Llamas Lair. I'm going to tell you, you guys know how to throw a party, man. Hey, thank you very much. We appreciate all the support that we're having here. And uh, it is like the movies say, you build it and they will come. And for a good cause like this, I love this. I mean, that, that shows all the support, what Tampa and all the biker community in this area, it's all about. You call them for a good cause and they'll show up. That's and I really, I, I thank them for that. And we always, uh, we always say when you really got to get something out, get it to the bikers and uh, they'll get it to you. What do you think, Jim? Hey, I, I, th I thank uh, Johnny and all the llamas. They do throw a great party and uh, he's exactly right. He said it's a tragedy, but nothing has brought the community of Tampa together like uh, this response and uh, to contribute towards the well-being of the families and those children. Uh, you know, it's just a wonderful day. And it's a wonderful feeling too and uh, Born to Ride TV, proud to be a part of it, man. Just take a look around here at all of these bikes and all of the support got the Nam Knights, just to name a few, and uh, the Moose Riders, Buffalo Soldiers. It is an awesome day uh, for an awesome cause here at the Latin American Motorcycle Association Clubhouse with Born to Ride TV. <laughs> Born to Ride with Florida West Coast Riders and the Llamas. Yes, sir, Ryan. Born to Ride is number one. Thank you for coming out and your support as always. Hey, this is Wayne with Born to Ride magazine. I'm here with Greg and Rick from the local Police Benevolent Association. We're actually organizing this ride here for the benefit of the two falling officers, the Tampa police officers. And uh, tell us, if you would, how important is this community support for your cause today? Uh, well, first of all, it's amazing the, the way people have come out. And it, it, the, every walk of life that you can think of, uh, it's just what people want to do for these officers and for those families is, is amazing and overwhelming. And we understand, obviously, we were expecting a couple of hundred of pe people here, and how many you estimate are here today? I, I, I'll be shocked if there's not at least a thousand people here. Or I think we're going to push a thousand by the time this is all said and done. And do me a favor, tell our, our, our viewers, what do you do with this money that you're collecting today? 100% of this is going to go right to the families of the two police officers, uh, Dave Curtis 
Jeff Kocab, their wives will uh, receive a check for one half of each of this tomorrow. Well, on behalf of Born to Ride, the community, the motorcycle brethren, we appreciate what you're doing for these officers, and we're glad to be here and be part of it. This is Tom here of the Buffalo Soldiers that came out to support this uh, memorial ride for the two falling officers of, of Tampa PD. Uh, Tom, tell us what you think about this ride today. Well, I think it's a great move. We're just here to support it. We, you know, we, we have a number of officers in our own club, and uh, you know, our heart goes out for, for the families, for the department, for the city as a whole. And you know, we're just doing our part to, to make sure that you know, we, we honor these guys in the way that they deserve. You seem to have a large contingent of your members here. How many do you estimate are here today? We got about 30 here today. So, uh, and that's about about the, the, the total population of our club here in the Bay Area. So, you know, like again, we're just here to do what we can for for, for these fallen off. Crystal Harley Davidson and Homosassa is hosting a summer payment event. We can help you find your personal freedom with a payment that fits your personal budget. Every motorcycle has payment options clearly posted on it. We have brand new Harley Davidsons for only $99 per month, 1.99% for 60 months, and zero down payment options. Remember at Crystal Harley Davidson, we are the king of trades, offering you full blue book value for your trade-in. There is always something happening at Crystal Harley Davidson. Motorcycle listings. Sell or find your next motorcycle at motolistings.com. Motorcycle listings at motolistings.com. October 2nd, 3rd, and the 4th, A Beta Florida presents Avon Park Autumn Bike Fest, sponsored by AIM, Aid to Injured Motorcyclists. Live music featuring Bobby Friss, the man who knows how to bring the party, and more bands all three days. Beer garden, food, camping, poker runs, biker activities, vendors call now. Autumn Bike Fest, October 2nd, 3rd, and 4th. That's A Bait. For more information, call 941 613 1232. I've been representing accident victims for nearly a decade, and I've always wanted an office where my clients would feel comfortable and welcome. I'm attorney Fran Hosh, and I've also always been a fighter never backing down to any insurance company or their attorneys when it comes to representing my clients' rights. Let me deal with the insurance company so you don't have to. If you've been injured in an accident, please call me at 866-LAW-FRAN or log on to lawfran.com. Bike Center's 60,000 square foot showroom is packed with great deals. Fun Bike Center buys used motorcycles for cash. All makes, all models, all conditions. Bring your old motorcycle or ATV to Fun Bike Center and turn it into cash today. Visit Fun Bike Center online at funbikecenter.com. Open late every Wednesday night. Fun Bike Center. Sunday, September 20th, Peggy's Corral, Wild Stock 17. 11 hours of live music hosted by Vic the Beanie Guy. This is the event of the year, the historic Peggy's Corral, Wild Stock. That's Sunday, September 20th, 
For more information, go to Peggy's Corral.net. So my good friend right here, Ron Galetti, and we put it together, and this is what has come about. We raised 7,500 bucks for, the, for, for these two families. Yeah. And uh, I didn't mean to, uh, to take General Scott's uh, quote, but, uh, <laughs> but I, I, I did with, uh, you know, uh, when he said that we always have in our minds and in our hearts our men and women of the armed forces. They're over there fighting for our freedom, doing everything they can to keep us here free. But sometimes we kinda, and that, that, if I may quote you, General Scott again, he said that sometimes we forget about the ones that are here, keeping us safe. The police officers, the firefighters, the EMT. So we thank you guys, those police officers that are here, for all that you do for us. So, Ron. Hey, um. <clears throat> Anytime we get together with the llamas, we, we're, there's always a good cause. But I'll tell you what, uh, I'm Ron Galetti, born to ride, if anybody doesn't know. But um, when, when this tragedy happened, when these two men were murdered in the line of duty, they put their lives on the line every day. We go to work, we don't have a threat of being killed every day. These guys do, and they do it every day for us. The same guy that gives you a ticket in the morning <laughs> is the same guy that'll put his life on the line for you that afternoon. So um, when this tragedy happened, we just felt that we have to show law enforcement in Tampa Bay and all over the world that bikers do care. Yeah. 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 I must say, when we put it out to you, the biker community, what do we have here? A lot of people who care. And, and that's what it's about, guys. We really appreciate the great things the bikers do in Tampa Bay. When we call on you, you're there. We call on the llamas, they're there. We call on the clubs to show up, they're there in support. From the bottom of my heart, my family's heart, my father was a police officer 26 years in New York City, so. I mean, these men put their lives on the line. What we wanna do for the BBA was here, they're kind enough to come out and accept the money, do all the work, sign up. We appreciate them being here and, um, it's just great to represent a great biker community like you guys. And uh, putting these wreaths from the llamas and Born to Ride is from everybody, is from our community to show that we all care. How about a moment of silence when these two officers lost their lives? If, if there's anything that's at the, at the very bottom of why this means so much to us is that these guys died to protect our freedom to live without fear in this town. The folks overseas are fighting to protect the freedoms that the nation stands on. We all ride these motorcycles because it gives us a uh, feeling and appreciation of the freedom that comes out of the open road. So I thank you from the bottom of my heart and uh, thank you very much, Johnny and Ron, for uh, whipping this up together. Jewel and I are very excited to add the iconic Harley-Davidson brand to our Crystal family. We are pleased to announce the opening of Crystal Harley-Davidson. We invite everyone to visit Crystal Harley-Davidson on Highway 19 in Hamasasa. We are stocked with new Harley-Davidson motorcycles, parts, accessories, and riding apparel. Plus, every new and used bike comes with a warranty. Harley-Davidson is one of the strongest and most recognizable brands in the world. We plan to carry on that impressive legacy as we grow the brand throughout the Nature Coast. If you've been involved in a motorcycle accident, I'm the biker on your side. I'm Fran Hush, your attorney that rides. Motorcycle accidents get my experience and personal attention. And there are no fees, no costs, unless you win. I've dedicated my career to helping accident victims and their loved ones. Your rights are my fight, and I'll never settle for less than you deserve. If you've been injured in a motorcycle accident, please call me at 866-LAW-FRAN or log on to lawfran.com. 
October 2nd, 3rd, and the 4th, A Beta Florida presents Avon Park Autumn Bike Fest, sponsored by AIM, Aid to Injured Motorcyclists. Live music featuring Bobby Friss, the man who knows how to bring the party, and more bands all three days. Beer garden, food, camping, poker runs, biker activities, vendors call now. Autumn Bike Fest, October 2nd, 3rd, and 4th. That's A Bait. For more information, call 941 613 1232. If you're in the market for a motorcycle, I've got two guys that'll take care of you right here, Derek. Let me tell you something, come up here and see the family because you will be part of our family and you will enjoy it every month of every year. That's Harley Davidson of Ocala, Ray. Yep, Harley Davidson of Ocala, where you're treated like family every day, all day long, all year long. Come see us. These guys got it all happening. Check them out. Let them roll, baby. Let them roll. Let them roll. Baby. Let them roll. Do you get our monthly exclusive newsletter? Sign up at borntoride.com and get on our mailing list today. Hey, Dale here from the Time Machine. We're talking about old Henderson motorcycles today and uh, one extremely old Henderson that I'm sitting on. Kind of an unknown either 1918 or 19 Henderson prototype. It's a Model Z and certainly the most amazing thing about this motorcycle is its condition, its originality, and its prototype features that no other Henderson world has. My good friend Steve Lepold said, this is the rarest bike he got in the whole museum, and I don't know if that's true, but certainly one of the top machines here in perfect running condition, found this bike under an old oak tree at the swap meet in Washington, Ohio, probably about 10, 12 years ago. Had a lot of fun with it. I've always really kind of dreamed about the Henderson motorcycle. Recently found a 1913 engine, found Mike Smith in a chassis and built that motorcycle. Of course, here wheels through time, the history of Henderson actually predates Henderson, uh, the, one of the oldest four-cylinder machines in the country, 1909 Pierce. Steve McQueen owned that motorcycle. Uh, this machine, extremely rare. Can't forget my 17 Henderson, love that bike, rode it from Los Angeles to New York in 1997. This bike is such an outstanding machine, though, that uh, I'm almost going to drive it today. You know, in 1911, Ignis Schwinn bought the Excelsior Motorcycle Company, and of course, in late 1917, Ignis Schwinn bought from the Henderson Brothers the Henderson Company, moved it from Detroit to Chicago, employed the Henderson Brothers actually for, I think they had a five year contract. The Henderson Brothers didn't stick around because they moved on to Philadelphia to build the famous bike called the Ace, and of course, a lot of people call Ace the Duesenberg of American motorcycles, but the Henderson prototype at hand surely was worked on by the Henderson brothers in the Schwinn factory. It is such a unique motorcycle, having features that no Henderson in the world has. It has valve enclosures that are extremely cool. We're gonna start this bike up in a little bit and watch those rocker arms work. Of course, on 1918, and actually 19 and earlier, the open rockers were kind of troublesome for Henderson, gathering dirt and dust and water having to oil them by hand. These you would have to oil by hand, but with the little covers on it, keeps the dirt and the dust out. The Henderson engine is actually a little car engine, four cylinders, it has a, a multi-plate clutch and a three-speed transmission, and a crankcase very much like an automobile. And of course, these motors were made to use some oil. What this Henderson has is an auxiliary oil pump that no other Henderson in the world has, located on the left tank, you can add a charge of oil directly to the crankcase and uh, truly unique. The bike itself so incredibly original, original paint throughout and everything matches on this bike. From the Excelsior logo on the front fender to this beautiful Henderson decal on the tank, the rear fender equally as cool, fully accessorized, very unusual in 18 or 19. Prestolite uh, gas headlight is actually Prestolite is acetylene, makes a white glow. Tail light as well. Speedometer, 3,400 miles is what the speedometer says. Of course, I wasn't born in 1918, wasn't with this bike all the time, but I believe the bike to be true to that fact. Uh, cool horn, painted to match. So all the accessories on this bike are painted from the factory and original. 
truly one of the most outstanding original motorcycles in the world. Well, you know, I could talk about a Henderson motorcycle all day long, but we only got a few minutes. I guess it's time to go for a ride. Let me show you how to start this thing. You know, the four-cylinder Henderson is such an easy bike to operate. The starting procedure is so simple, and four-cylinder bikes, they always start easy. Fuel shut off right here. Choke about half on this bike, and then all it takes is one kick. Another great day at Wheels Through Time. Ride my favorite old things right here on the property. Got our beautiful river and our buddies, the ducks down there. And God, I love this 18 Henders, and truly it is one of the best survivors of any kind in the world. Certainly the best 1918, 19 Henderson in the world. We'll catch you later on the time machine. Bike Center's 60,000 square foot showroom is packed with great motorcycle deals. Stop in and save on a Harley Davidson V Rod, yours for only $10,488. Or take home the Yamaha FJR1300 for only $89.95. See more great deals now at funbikecenter.com. Open late every Wednesday night. Don't miss Bike Nights, every night featured in the new Born to Ride magazine. A complete listing of Born to Ride's hottest bike nights for you to check out. This month's issue features the High Octane Saloon's 5th Anniversary Biker Bash on the front cover. Pick up your free copy today. Born to Ride Lifestyle Magazine, 100 page live exclusive at borntoride.com. Check out issue 11 dedicated to riding, travel, and adventure with the best of Finn's Finds Destination Rides and ride the mountains of Georgia and beyond from the Copperhead Lodge Motorcycle Resort Extended Feature. And of course, don't miss the girls of Born to Ride and more only in Born to Ride Lifestyle Magazine at borntoride.com. Born to Ride is a multimedia marketing and promotional machine with TV, magazines, streaming radio, and internet advertising opportunities. There are tens of thousands of motorcycles. We reach the people who ride them. Born to Ride. Find out more at borntoride.com. Hey, Jerry Motorman Palladino here for Born to Ride TV with my tip of the week. One of the most important techniques that you could practice is proper braking. You have to learn to brake using front and rear brakes. Remember, the front brake provides at least 70% of your stopping force. If you lock your rear brake, keep it locked. Keep your head and eyes up and look at the place where you want to stop the motorcycle. If you lock the front brake, it's the exact opposite. Release it immediately and reapply. Remember to squeeze that brake. Don't snatch it or grab it. And don't forget to downshift while you're braking. For instance, if you're in third gear, you have to make a quick stop. You have to downshift into first. When the bike comes to a complete stop, if you have to quickly get out of the way of an oncoming vehicle, you need to be in first gear. So practice your braking and downshifting at the same time. Remember, all it takes to ride like a pro is a little practice. Stunt Wars is coming October 10th and 11th to Orlando Speed World. Don't miss Stunt Wars. Go to StuntWars2015.com. Enter promo code born to ride for $5 off tickets. Hurry while supplies last. Find us on Facebook, Born to Ride TV and Magazine. The ultimate multimedia biker experience. Time to get noticed with Media Design Shop. Web design management and hosting, logo designs, marketing material, social media presence, video production, consulting, ad creations, and more. 
Time to get noticed. Media Design Shop. Call now for a free consultation. We're in downtown Tampa in front of the police headquarters where we've just had an incredible outpouring from all the bikers from uh, the Llama Association and uh, many of the, the uh, clubs that showed up and we got uh, some of the, uh, the main guys here. Uh, tell us who you are and, and uh, exactly how you're feeling right now. My name is Rick Cochran. I'm the senior vice president of the Tampa Police Benevolent Association and um, I, I'm humbled by all this. This has absolutely been amazing. I had no idea what to expect when they called and said they wanted to do this, but this is, it's overwhelming. We always say that the bikers always uh, show out in, in uh, big support. What do you think? That's true. Absolutely. My name is Greg Stout. I'm the president of the Tampa Police Benevolent Association. I've got to be honest, we never expected a turnout like this. It's been spectacular. Awesome. So Johnny, president over here. Johnny, tell us a little bit. I know it, you know it's, it's sombering, it, it's humbling. It We're doing a great thing for a great cause for these fallen officers. Was this as big or bigger than you expected? It's way bigger than I expected, but uh, you know what? The community never seems to uh, amaze me. You know, every time we put out something with the help, obviously, of Born to Ride, that is always backing us up. Uh, the biking community, the biking community comes out in numbers, and you, you've seen it today. Uh, it was a great cause, and I thank Ron because we, the, he helped us. Without him, we couldn't have put this thing together, and uh, it came out excellent. Uh, beautiful, beautiful. All right, we got Willie, Vice President. Come on, Willie, give me some thoughts, man. What do you think? What do you think about this outpouring today? Well, great, awesome, awesome. Today has been a proof of what the community is, the biker community, and the stereotype that people think of us. This is what really what bikers are all about. And we want you to know we come forward with the police officers and the fire department. And thanks to Born to Ride and Lama Tampa, we pulled it off today. And I want to thank everybody and everybody for all the support. All right, so back to Johnny. Johnny, did you uh, you get, uh, you know, we had, uh, everybody was registering. We had all these uh, these folks out here. Did, uh, did we get a total on the amount of money that we raised today? Yes, sir, and it was amazing. Uh, uh way up there and I'm gonna let the president of the PBA say that number because he's, he just blew my, my mind. Blew your mind. It was too much for you to count. You can't, uh, hey, Johnny uh, can't yeah. count that high. That's what it is. I think they came out in numbers and we did excellent. I believe that, that it was a good day. It was an awesome day. Give us the number man. Now we're all excited. We gotta know. We raised $7,500 just in a couple of hours. Just registrations. Just people coming. Beyond that, other agencies, uh, other bike clubs just came in and handed us donations, wrote us checks. Uh, it was just amazing. Like I said, we never anticipated in a million years something like that would happen. It's an amazing thing. You know those guys got to be looking down on us right now. What do you think they're thinking? Well, I'm, I'm sure they're humbled by this as we are. Uh, they've got to be, and you know, not to mention that they have families they left behind. So, you know, that's got to be an awesome feeling for them up there looking down to know this is all about their families. Yeah. All right, so if these guys want to get in touch with us, some of the guys couldn't make it out today. They want to make donations. Is there some place that they can go, a website or something like that? Call the Tampa PBA, 813-228-8900, and we'll tell you everything you need to do. All right, give me that number one more time because I'm slow. 813-228-8900.